iostudy.net. Hello everyone, this is Danielle, and today in English Grammar we're going to learn about these topics, countable and uncountable nouns. So as you can see here, we have the mind map, and we have three different things we're going to talk about today. So first, we have countable nouns, uncountable nouns, and finally, nouns can be countable or uncountable. So let's first look at countable nouns. So we have the definition and the form here. Let's first look at the definition. Countable nouns can be counted. So for example, one banana, an umbrella. So as you can see, countable nouns can be counted. Now, what is the form that we use? We have singular and plural form. So singular form. To use singular form, we use a or an. And it cannot stand alone without a, the, or my. So let's expand. Use a or an. Here are some examples. A beach and a student. So in both of these examples, we're using a. So let's go down to using the plural form. Can use some and any, and can use many and few. So let's see some examples. For some and any, we sang some songs. And did you buy any apples? So these are examples using some and any. Now we can use many and few. For example, we didn't take many photographs. And I have a few jobs to do. Okay, so that's the plural form. We can use many and few. So let's go to the other side. Let's look at uncountable nouns now. So uncountable nouns, we have definition and form. Let's first take a look at the definition. In uncountable nouns, we cannot count them. So for example, rice and money. So here's the form. Only a singular form. For example, we can use some and any, and we can use much and little. So remember, these are only singular forms. Let's see some examples. I listened to some music, and did you buy any apple juice? So those are using some and any. Let's look at using much and little. We didn't do much shopping, and I have much work to do. So these are examples using much and little in the singular form. Finally, nouns can be countable or uncountable. As a countable noun and as an uncountable noun. Let's see some examples. Number one, did you hear a noise just now? And I bought a paper to read. So as you can see, both of these are countable nouns. As an uncountable noun. I can't work here. There's too much noise. And I need some paper to write on. Okay, so those are countable and uncountable nouns. Here's your completed mind map for you to come back to at any time you need. 
If you're ready to move on though, we can click here for the outline. So here's your outline on countable and uncountable nouns. You can scroll through this to find more information and further examples of sentences of how to use these English grammar rules correctly. And once you have finished reading through the outline, you can click here to take the test. So in the next video, we will take the test together. So thanks for joining me in this video where we looked at the mind map and the outline for our countable and uncountable nouns. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Goodbye.